Hello, I'm Anna Holder and I uh, run the Cultural Context um, Stage 1 unit with Kim Trogel and um, what we do in this unit is uh, look at uh, the relationships between society, culture and architecture um, to start off with through the lens of the house. Today we're going to be looking at one assessment, um, uh, one example and going through the assessment criteria uh, to try and demystify what the uh, what the ideas are and what we want uh, students to be able to do. Um... Hi, my name is Steve Dixon Smith. I'm a learning development tutor, um, and I'm not a subject specialist in architecture. So um, I'll be sort of asking questions along the way to try and demystify it for for myself. Um, so my name's Ian Badger and I'm, like Steve, I'm also not a subject specialist. I'm a learning and teaching librarian. I'm, on, I'm here primarily to look at how this essay has been researched and referenced and provide some kind of hints and tips of how you might want to go about that in your own essay. So cultural context um, stage one is assessed through two components and the first component, term one, asks you to write a 1500 word case study of a house and the house is allocated to you and other students um, in your year so there's a lot of group work in the initial research um, but then it's a kind of individual study looking particularly at the question how does the house that you've been given to look at relate to its cultural context an important thing to bear in mind when you're approaching this assignment is that with a case study, we're not just asking you to describe the case, that, the house that you've been given. Um, instead, you should be looking at uh, the architecture, the architect and where and when it was built um, and starting to construct an argument about whether or not your case study house relates to its cultural context and how it does so. Sorry, Anna, just it, with, with the, it says uh, whether your case study relates to its cultural context. So is it possible to argue that it um, that it doesn't? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, it's it's fine to argue one way or another as long as you back up um, your argument with examples. Um, and there's also not a right or wrong answer necessarily about whether it does or not. It's very much about your interpretation um, of what you see in the house and what you've learned so far. Um, so in order to, to help you approach the assignment, you might also want to think about how you structure the essay and what we, uh, what we re recommend is to use the themes from the lecture series that you've um, been attending it, um, in order to structure the analysis. So the different themes that we, that we move through um, give you different ways of thinking about architecture, thinking about why and how people build. Um, and then thinking about the ways that buildings are used um, and their relationship to um, not just the architect, but also the client and the people who inhabit the building in successive kind of periods. So different ones of those themes might be relevant to your case study house uh, and can give you um, a clear structure by choosing two or three of those um, to kind of focus your research. Every... Um, assignment or piece of work that you produce in your university degree is marked against a set of assessment criteria which will be given to you in the form of the unit handbook or the brief for each project. So for cultural context stage one there are three assessment criteria um, and they're what we use um, in order to work out how to grade your assignment. So these are the things that we're looking to see that you've done in your essay. How does that work, Anna? Is it um, kind of a, a third for each or uh, how, how does the assessment work in that way? Um, it's not, uh, we don't sort of do it as mathematically as that when we're um, assessing it, but because we're looking at the essay as a whole, uh, we'll give one mark for the whole piece of work, but we're looking to see that you have done each of the things in the assessment criteria. So um, so when you get your feedback, you'll get um, a couple of lines on each of the assessment criteria sort of saying what we picked up on or what you might be able to do better next time. Okay, great. 